now let's talk about self-knowledge or knowledge of the self kind of introspection i guess you can say and Ahmed said speak to us of self-knowledge and he answered saying your hearts know and silence the secrets of the days and the nights but your ears thirst for the sound of your heart's knowledge you would know in words that which you have always known and thought you would touch with them your fingers the naked body of your dreams and it is well you should the hidden wellspring of your soul must need rise and run murmuring to the sea and the treasure of your infinite depths would be revealed to your eyes but let there be no scales to weigh you your unknown treasure and seek not depths of your knowledge with staff of sounding line for self is a sea boundless and measureless say not i have found the truth but rather i have found a truth say not i have found the path of the soul say rather i have met the soul walking upon my path for the soul walks upon all paths the soul walks not upon a line neither does it grow like a reed the soul unfolds itself like a lotus of countless petals yeah so it's in the experience that we learn about ourselves and we have our soul is kind of unearthed it flows out like a petal like petals on a lotus flower which a lotus if you've never seen a lotus is a beautiful flower and there's a lot of lotuses get used a lot in like symbolism because they grow in swamps basically they grow in the mud and then whenever it comes time for them to bloom they bloom and they have this most beautiful bloom and it's like a lotus is blooming in the middle of a desolate plain so a lot of people like to use that analogy for like oh i'm growing through the uh the, the sad or the hard parts that are in my life but to know the self is to go out into life and to experience so say i don't say i found the truth but rather i found a truth through my experience i have found some semblance of truth i haven't found the absolute truth but i found a truth and then say not i have found the path of the soul say rather i have met the soul whack walking upon my path he's literally telling you right then and there that you will find your soul if you're walking along your path for the soul walks upon all paths so we all find our souls when we're walking on our path and the soul walks not upon a line neither does it grow like a reed the soul unfolds itself like the lotus of countless petals so it blooms as we go along it doesn't grow steadily it kind of blooms with our experience so yeah i love lotuses they're beautiful flowers i should start growing lotuses it'd be fun